Hi guys, Lucas here, Lucas Pencil Real Estate Group and Compass Real Estate. In this video, we're walking you through what the process looks like to flip a home. Um, I posted something on Instagram and I got over 300 hits and people are curious as to what that process looks like. How do you do it? What are the numbers behind it? What updates and upgrades should you do? And how do you flip a house and make money? This video is also gonna be helpful for any potential sellers that are considering updates in their homes. So you could get a lot of takeaways from these videos and figure out what should I update prior to selling. But we're really gonna be focusing on the flipping side. Come with us. All right, so whenever you're considering flipping a home, I wanna set a good foundation for you guys of some terms that you should know and remember. So number one, it's your acquisition cost. Acquisition cost is what you're purchasing the house for. Number two, it's your rehab cost. Rehab cost is how much you're gonna spend updating the home. And number three is ARV, after repair value. This means after you spend $50,000 updating the home, what's the after repair value? right? So you have those three key terms that you should always remember. So for this home in specific, this isn't necessarily a flip, but it's very similar to a flip and I'll explain why. This is a home where mom passed away, it was handed down to the son, and it's in this condition. As you can see, it's not very nice, it's, it's not updated. This home, the way it is today, if we don't do anything and we go to sell it, the home is worth about 340,000. So 340,000 is your acquisition cost in this case. Now, when we're looking at a home like this, trying to figure out if it's a good flip or if it's a home that you should do updates on before selling it, we have to look at what's selling in the neighborhood and does it make sense for you to spend money rehabbing the home. If we go to sell it on the market today, the seller is gonna get 340,000. The cost to rehab this home, to make it really nice, really modern, really updated, similar to a really nice home in this area, would be about $60,000. So you have your acquisition cost of 340, you have your rehab cost of 60,000, you're all in the project for $400,000. Now, the last number that we need to figure out to make sense, to see if the investment makes sense or if the flip makes sense, it's your ARV, after repair value. So let's say we buy it for 340, spend $60,000 fixing it up, what's it worth then? So the ARV for this home, after we spend the 60, will be over 500,000. So worst case scenario, he's gonna be able to sell this home for 500,000. That means he's making $100,000 profit by doing the updates. That's a pretty good return on investment. Now, we're gonna walk you through what updates he's gonna be doing in order to maximize his investment and sell the home quick for the most amount of profit. We're now fast forward four to five weeks since the last time we were in this place and we came through and did a complete remodel of the place. We were getting ready to go on market at 360 because it was very outdated and needed quite a bit of work. Instead, we went in and put about 50 to $60,000 worth of updates in order to go in on the market at a higher price and fetch more money for the seller. So we're getting ready to take this listing live on the market at 525. Excuse the mess since we're, we're still, you know, finishing up and trying to stage it, but I'll be able to highlight the key pieces of what we did in this remodel in order to net the seller more money. All right, so the kitchen is where you get your the biggest return on investment usually on a property. So I don't know if you guys remember, this kitchen was very outdated, old lights. We had cabinets and countertops that closed off the kitchen. So we completely blew that off in order to make it more of an open concept. Quartz countertop, new white cabinets, new flooring, new stainless steel appliances, and a light backsplash, new sink, completely changes the look and feel of the place, as you can see. And of course, we took out the, the old lighting and put some new LED lights in order to 
to brighten the place up. All right, so here in the living room, we were able to refinish the hardwood floors that were underneath the old flooring. So finished hardwoods. This fireplace was very outdated. And so we went through and just painted the ugly wood trim and put some tile throughout in order to make it seem more modern. We went with a basic white and a, a light gray color all throughout, which is really popular here in the Northwest because it makes places seem brighter. And since the weather is not, it's not the best here, that's, that's usually a good option. So that's a wrap for this project. This home is coming on the market and I hope I got to, to explain to the best of my ability what the Compass Concierge progress is like and what that process looks like from start to finish. We love to help families and individuals in the Seattle area do the same thing to your place. Maybe it's not a complete remodel like this, but I guarantee you there are things in your home that you could do to raise the value of your home. And when the time comes for you to sell it, we love to help you highlight what those things are and provide a zero interest, zero hidden fees, free money in order for you to go and do the updates, in order for you to net more money and sell your home faster. Now, at the same time, you might be interested in getting into real estate investing. It might be, one of your goals might be to do your first flip ever. This is a great program for individuals who are looking to invest in real estate. We love to help. We love real estate. We love this. So if you have any questions real estate related, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help. Comment below with any questions and share the video if you think somebody will benefit from this. Till next time.